Here's a quick recap of Ratatouille. Remy is born with a gift. Pursuing his gift leads him on dangerous exertions, but also brings him immense satisfaction. His brother doesn't understand him, but is supportive. His father wants him to stick to the family business and not leave town, but Remy insists. He moves to the best city imaginable to pursue his talent, Paris. There he realizes he is at the bottom of the food chain. No one will even let him inside a restaurant. No one thinks a rat has what it takes. Supported by the words of his idol and mentor, Chef Gusteau, Remy pushes through. He befriends some people and gets his foot in the door. This creates more danger. Sabotage by a jealous boss, an attempt to co-opt his talent to create mundane products solely for monetary gain, and above everything else, the threat of failure. Will Anton Ego, the embodiment of all critics, of all criticism, approve of him? Will he like his work? Will he support it? Or will he knock him down like so many before him? Remy doesn't know, but he tries. He picks a dish and sends it out to Ego, eagerly waiting his verdict. Does that sound familiar? It should. Any aspiring artist probably deeply relates to Remy's situation. That's the power of theme. Ratatouille encourages those of us who love cooking, writing, filmmaking, singing, programming, or anything else to pursue it. To not let any form of adversity, a push to conform, unsupportive peers, a closed industry, and of course critics, to hold us back. Of course, Ratatouille has a happy ending, as Remy wins Ego's approval and support. He clearly has a gift, but not everyone does. Monsters University focuses exactly on that kind of person. Mike Wazowski knew he wanted to be a scarer ever since he was a kid. When he finally makes it to the best scaring program higher education has to offer, he knows he'll succeed. He studies harder than anyone. He knows everything there is to know about scaring. And he is still kicked out of the program because, as the Dean puts it, he simply isn't scary. You're not a school competition offers a chance back into the program. Mike whips a group of misfits in shape and brings them together to the finish line. However, he learns that no one, not even his friends, believe he is scary. You don't think I'm scary. Alone, and for the first time unsure of his calling, Mike puts himself to the ultimate test. He breaks school rules and risks his life to find the truth. He tries to scare real human children and fails. Only then does he realize he isn't scary. After he and Sally are expelled, they find a one ad in the school newspaper for the mailroom at Monsters Inc. They climb their way up the corporate ladder, and while Mike doesn't become scary, he becomes a great coach, the best coach. We've seen him become a coach. It happened while he was trying to get back into the scare program. He'll never be a scarer, he gave up on that dream. But he did find something else he's good at as well as friendship and satisfaction. That could happen to you. You might discover that you're not meant to be a great cook, writer, filmmaker, singer, programmer, or anything else you're pursuing, and that's okay. Monsters University tells us two things about giving up on our dreams. The first is that we only get to do that after we've worked hard to get it. Mike doesn't quit when the Dean kicks him out. He doesn't quit when all his friends fail him. He quits only when he is faced with objective, irrefutable evidence that he isn't scary, when he has no other option rather than to accept who he is. The other thing Monsters University tells us is that Mike's pursuit of his dream was not in vain, not only because he made friends, but because the pursuit led him to his calling. It just wasn't what he thought. Mike ends up being the coach of the best scarer in Monstropolis, and he never would have discovered his talent if he hadn't followed his dream. These ideas are deeply embedded into the stories of Ratatouille and Monsters University. From setting, to character, to dialogue, to plotting. They are constructed in ways that explore issues of talent, greatness, mediocrity, criticism, and failure. Apart from the immense craftsmanship and sheer entertainment value of these films, they also offer us important advice. Don't let anyone stop you from pursuing your dream. And don't let pursuing your dreams stop you from finding something that you're good at and makes you happy. Thanks for watching.